Hello internet, around here I go by Cat of Diamonds and welcome to my fanish reviews. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is my intended TBR for the Booktubeathon. I've participated in the Booktubeathon for a few years now and I always document it in some capacity on my channel. It's possible that during Booktubeathon this year I'm transitioning jobs. At the point of recording, I'm still waiting to hear back, so we'll see if that is a factor in how much content I can create for Booktubeathon, but I'm definitely going to participate. It's also going to be a factor in how much of Booktubeathon I am successful in. I have been successful most Booktubeathons, not all Booktubeathons, but I've said Booktubeathon a lot, so please don't turn this video into a drinking game and I should get into my TBR, which I've written down on a lovely piece of paper. So the first category is read a book with a person on the cover. Turns out a lot of the books that I have have a person on the cover, but this is the first one I thought of, which is Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes. I got her other book at an author event, which was ended up being book two, so I haven't read it because I needed to get book one, and yes. Now I have book one and I need to read it because I want to make a video about the author event. I think that event was like February and I haven't done a video about it yet. Number two is read a hyped book, which is The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I have kind of started it. I'm going to start over. There's also a person on the cover, so it counts for that as well. And it also counts as read a book about someone who is different than you. So, well, you'll find out about that in a future category. For the challenge of finishing a book in a day, I picked The Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. It has not bookmarks in it, but page marks in it because I got it because it has all of the runes. So when I wanted to cosplay as a shadow hunter, um, I could reference this book. Oh, and there's other things that are falling in. Oh my goodness. So then I took this to a con and so these are also things that I got at the convention that I just tucked into the books to keep them safe and they've been there since the con which I really don't want to talk about how long ago that was. Also there's a person on this cover. <laughs> I decided that since my life was probably going to be in transition during this week one of the books I choose should be an audiobook so originally the category of read a book about a character different from you was going to be also an audiobook so I have two audiobooks on request at the library right now so hopefully they show up before this starts. And in post I'll hopefully upgrade this part, but Flying Lessons and Other Stories, edited by Ellen O, is from the We Need Diverse books. I have straight passing privilege. I am a female, which, you know, debatable there on that privilege, but I'm also white, so I definitely have privilege there. Um, and as far as diverse books, I'm sure one of those essays will be not about me. Although my library doesn't have it, so I had to go into Prospector to borrow it from another library system, it might not get to me in time, so I also chose Brown Girl Dreaming by Jacqueline Woodson. It was a recommended audiobook in a list of audiobooks by a booktuber. So I'm just gonna put it on hold to see if it, again, arrives in time. The next challenge is to finish a book completely out of doors. So I chose Flesh, a biography by Virginia Woolf because it is rather short, but I don't think it's going to be a quick read because again, it is a classic and the words and how they are laid out on the page aren't exactly something I'm used to reading, but this is one of my Persephone books that I got in London. Actually, this is the only book I bought at the Persephone store, which is going to be a video at some point. They've beautifully designed books. It has bookmarks in it already, so it's ready to read, and I definitely think because it is more of an essay short novella thing, I'm a jigger, that if I pick it up and put it down over the course of the week, like I can take an hour out of each day to read it outside and therefore hopefully we'll finish it. Yes? So the next challenge is to read a book bought because of the cover and I'm choosing Blood of Wonderland, which kind of seems like a simple cover, but I feel like it's such a striking color. And this is also by Colleen Oakes. If you remember the first book in this, it caught my eye on its little display at the author event because there's two authors there and I was going for the other author and then Colleen Oakes was the local author joining the original author on their tour for a few stops and it was just so striking with its bold red and white and that's when I bought the book and realized it was book two. And for read seven books, I need a seventh book 
So right now I have The Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earl. I forgot to mention, both of these have people on the cover. Anyways, I used to have this book up here where the Imperial Infliction prop that was given to me by a wonderful friend is, and I just felt bad because I've had this book basically since it's come out and it's been on my shelf and it like gives the impression that I've read it and I know that this is such an emotional book so it is an option for my seventh book. There's also the fact that I could decide that I'm not emotionally available for that week to read this book but I do want to get to it soon. But if I decide that The Star Won't Go Out is just too much then I am going to swap it out for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone Ravenclaw edition as the book that I purchased for the cover challenge because Ravenclaw totally purchased this for the cover. I mean, it's a Harry Potter edition, so like it can go in my Harry Potter edition collection, but Ravenclaw cover, cover why I bought this book. So yeah, this is my potential TBR Sans One book and plus an audiobook for the booktube-a-thon, and I'm very, very excited, but this is also heavy, so let's back out of this video. Let me know in the comments if you're participating in the booktube-a-thon. I will also leave links about what the heck the booktube-a-thon even is down in the description, as well as the challenges video and all of the social media on how to get involved, because if you don't know, I'm gonna kind of make you do your own research on what it even is. It's just this video is about my TBR. And of course, if you've made it to this point of the video, thank you for enjoying my content. Hopefully that's the reason you're watching this long. And if that's the case, please go like and subscribe and interact in that comment section and all of the stuff that tells the YouTube algorithm that my content is worth watching. I mean, do that if you're so inclined. And as always, until my next video, happy reading.